Welcome to Spooky News uh, from Spooky Ventures for July 19th, 2019. Uh, lots been happening since the last time we did a Spooky News. In fact, we've uh, got added two new categories of videos. Our first video interview, a Spooky Interview, and also uh, our first Spooky Places a tour of a cemetery in Rockford, Illinois. So. Be sure to have a look at those and uh, look around the, the YouTube channel for Spooky Ventures. You should find a lot of interesting stuff, including today's Spooky News, which we'll get to right now. A video a family took in Rome that purports to show a UFO uh, has been going kind of viral in the last week and um, the Express in the UK uh, did an article about it and shared the video. You'll be able to find that link in the details on this video and have a look at their video and see what you think of that. Um, it's pretty distant, I'll tell you that. According to the Edinburgh News, an uh, amateur astronomer in uh, Edinburgh uh, got video footage and photographs of a UFO uh, flying over the area. He, he said that it was uh, visible for several hours and he was unable to identify it. Uh, again, I'll be um, sharing this video or sharing the details of the uh, page that you can go have a look at the video and pictures and all of that and uh, maybe you can uh, make more out of it than I could. Well, last week I mentioned about the uh, people wanting to storm Area 51. Well, the numbers of people who say they're going to do it have really swollen. I think it's over a million the last time I looked. But, you know, a lot of those people really will never show up. And uh, the United States government, as I mentioned last week, it doesn't sound like a great idea. The U.S. Air Force has said that is an Air Force base and they will defend it um, from any kind of uh, incursion. So people are very much advised, do not attempt this. Frankly, I think it's all mostly just a joke and uh, most people aren't really serious about doing it, but you know, knowing the way things work with human nature, probably there are some people who are thinking that it's a good plan and are gonna put it into action. And you know, by the just percentages, if you've got over a million people saying they're gonna do it, the number who will actually show up is a lot higher than you might think, you know, even if it's 10%, you've got 100,000 people. And uh, it's just very ill-advised to consider doing that. And of course, I know you've heard about it because it's all over the media, so and that's uh, certainly why the government heard about it. The previous uh, bit about Edinburgh uh, UFO sighting, uh, I recorded a few days ago. And then today, which is um, actually Friday morning, I got a new uh, notice about another UFO uh, sighting in Edinburgh, Scotland. And uh, this this person said they only saw, he only saw the UFOs for a couple minutes, but he got some photographs and... Uh, I think a video, I believe we got some video, but in any event, uh, you can check all that out. I'll include the uh, link in the details of the 
a video and you can see that one and I don't know if uh, they're just catching some interesting stuff and the Edinburgh newspaper or website or whatever is running with it or if there's a flurry of activity or what's going on there. A gent named uh, Charles Robinson is a referee for the WWE. He's also a huge horror fan. Apparently, he had uh, about $50,000 worth of horror movie memorabilia stolen while he was uh, on tour with the WWE. So, um, I think he's sort of on the lookout trying to get his stuff back. But there were apparently quite a, uh, quite a haul of uh, cool... Uh, one-of-a-kind or at least very collectible horror movie stuff that we, he had in his collection that was taken from a storage unit. Uh... British uh, ghost hunter named Danny Moss has released video of a uh, doll apparently telling him that it wants to burn his eyes. Uh, it's been compared to Annabelle and Moss, who uh, hosts a show called uh, Paranormal Captured on British television, uh, has got it secured in a glass box to protect people from it. And he's actually called it the most haunted item in the UK. Uh, you can check out the video at the link I'll provide in the uh, details of the description of the uh, of the uh, video here. So give that a look over and see what you think. You know, what might be a pretty peculiar crossover toy, uh, a series of... Uh, action figures with WWE stars as Ghostbusters is being released by Mattel. You've got Stone Cold Steve Austin, John Cena, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and uh, um, Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels all done up as Ghostbusters with The Undertaker as the villain. That ought to be uh, something of appeal to both Ghostbusters fans and WWE fans and probably a lot of crossover between the two anyway so that should be fun So last week I was talking about how um, some ghost hunters had purchased the Conjuring House and were saying that it was still very haunted. Well, as it turns out, they're planning to turn it into a tourist attraction and are looking to open it up for visitors to come check out their haunted house. And you can uh, give that a try if you're going to be in the area of Rhode Island and go visit and see... Uh, what you make of all the things going on there or not going on, depending on what you experience. The Caribou Hotel in a town called Carcross, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, or at least I hope I am, in Canada is set to reopen. It's um, apparently so haunted, or at least there are so many stories of hauntings, that uh, there was actually a postage stamp uh, showcasing it, issued by the Canadian government uh, a few years ago. In any event, a couple has bought the hotel and have renovated it. Well, renovated is probably the wrong word. 
they've restored it so that it's back to vintage uh, vintage style stuff um, it was originally from the Yukon Gold Rush so that tells you uh, that it's pretty old and uh, you can make reservations and go stay there and uh, perhaps you won't be staying alone in your room if the haunting stories are true If you're going to be in London in October and uh, enjoy the theater along with spooky stuff, but then again, if you're here, you like spooky stuff, but uh, there's going to be a play that has been there before that's going to be opening again. It's called Ghost Stories. It's supposed to be a spooky play, and they promise to have new thrills, even if for the people who have seen it last year. Or in previous years, it's going to be opening at the Ambassador Theater on October 17th in London's West End. So you uh, can make some plans, see about getting some tickets, and uh, go check out that show. Universal Studios theme park does uh, Halloween Horror Nights every year, and this year they've one of the things they've announced that's new is they're going to be uh, including Ghostbusters. Uh, they've released a short little teaser trailer, and uh, that's the uh, big announcement that Ghostbusters will be part of it. Well, at least it's a big announcement. They probably will have more coming down the road uh, leading up to the big event, but Ghostbusters should get a lot of people in. If you've caught Aaron Mankey, I believe that might be the correct pronunciation of his name. If you've caught his podcast, uh, which is called Lore, you'll know that it's about uh, horror stories that are uh, allegedly true stories. And uh, IDW Comics is going to be doing a new uh, limited edition series based on his, uh, his uh, podcast. That's something to keep your eyes open for at the uh, comic book store. Should be frighteningly fun. In last week's segment, I mentioned how uh, they're going to be releasing a bunch of uh, re-releasing a number of books uh, in, to coincide with scary stories to tell in the dark. Well, there's also a new book coming out, a companion, that's going to be called uh, The Haunted Notebook of Sarah Bellows, and it's going to be an illustrated uh, thing with all kinds of stories to tie into the movie, and uh, it sounds like a nifty little uh, special item that's a tie-in, and uh, should be collectible and fun for people who uh, enjoy the movie, and it's going to be uh, released on August 13th, so you don't have long to wait for that. I've never really watched Stranger Things, so uh, I'm not quite sure what a Demogorgon is, but apparently it's a pretty fearsome monster from the show. And uh, the really odd thing is now you can get a sprinkler, a Demogorgon sprinkler, to have for all your uh, summer fun. But it seems like kind of an odd little tie-in item for me, to me, but then again I haven't seen the show, so 
I'm sure fans of Stranger Things would love to get their hands on that. As I mentioned uh, last week, in last week's edition, I'm a big Doctor Who fan. So some news came out this uh, this week that's uh, pretty interesting for fans of horror that are all, who are also fans of Doctor Who. Uh, and now keep in mind, this is the mirror, and it's all speculative. But sometimes these rumors pan out. Uh, there's a rumor that the new season of Doctor Who is going to be a lot on the a lot scarier a lot on the more on the spooky side and one episode that's mentioned in particular sounds really interesting which is uh supposedly they're going to go back in time and uh, meet up with Mary Shelley and uh, there're going to be some cybermen in the episode too which uh the story is eventually lead to her creating the story of Frankenstein or the character of Frankenstein and the whole concept like I say, take, take it all with a grain of salt. It's uh, nothing officially announced yet, uh, but it sure sounds interesting, at least in terms of speculation. We'll see what happens. In case you somehow haven't heard, uh, the anthology series Creep Show is coming back. It's going to be on the uh, streaming service Shutter, and they haven't announced a release date yet, but they've given out information on all kinds of uh, tr episode, uh, like who wrote the episodes and uh, who's going to be in them. And there's a trailer expected at San Diego Comic Con later today. So it's uh, looking pretty promising, well not promising, it's uh, imminent that, that we're going to get a creep show series. It's just a matter of when and uh, apparently it's, I think, uh, been wrapped up as far as filming. So creep show is coming your way again. If you're a fan of The Simpsons, you have to know about Treehouse of Terror. They do them every year. And this year's episode happens to be the 666th episode of uh, The Simpsons. And they're going to uh, be parodying uh, the TV show Stranger Things. So that should be pretty fun. Have you seen The Invisible Man? Yeah, there's got to be a dad joke in there somewhere. In any event, um, The Invisible Man's a very classic Universal Pictures movie, and there's a new version that coming going to be coming out that claims to be inspired by the original, and it's going to star uh, someone named uh, uh, Oliver Jackson Cohen, who's famous for uh, The Haunting of Hill House the new version. So that should be interesting stuff. There's a new movie coming out called Death Sember and it's going to be a holiday uh, holiday uh, themed uh, movie. It's an anthology film, lots of different stories, and uh, it should be pretty interesting. I have to mention that with Tales of Wonder and Dread, I'm going to be releasing a book of uh, 
Christmas or holiday oriented uh, horror stories and I had that planned well before I ever heard about this movie so it's just a happy little coincidence that we both uh, have it coming out around the same time this later this year. Uh, there are no new movies in the horror category coming out this weekend. Uh, those in the Rockford, Illinois area may want to see if there are still tickets available for uh, the uh, paranormal tour of Tinker Swiss Cottage, though. Uh, that's an interesting tour always. And uh, there will be some movies coming out next week. So whatever you do, don't forget to check out our calendar. Go to SpookyVentures.com, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a picture of the calendar. Click on that, it brings up our calendar. We've got all kinds of spooky events, uh, horror authors uh, and horror actors and directors, birthdays, um, just the general kind of stuff you'd expect to see if you're looking for a spooky-oriented calendar. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Spooky News. Be sure to come by and check out again next week for another edition of Spooky News. Hopefully we'll have some good, interesting stuff for you that time too. And in the meantime, be sure to look around our YouTube channel. There are plenty of great videos of uh, all kinds of cool things with lots more coming. They say we've unveiled two new uh, types of videos, the Spooky Places and Spooky Interviews. We've got at least one other idea coming along, and uh, actually I've got a couple of other things I'm thinking about putting into place, so we'll see about that. But in the meantime, enjoy yourself and keep it spooky. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.